I spend a lot of time on this channel talking about foldable devices like the folds and the duos and the things of this nature. But one thing I don't talk about nearly enough, I think, is probably the Z Flip. Now, my wife has a Z Flip 3 and she has quite enjoyed that device with a few minor complaints here and there. But strangely, with the Flip 4 just on the horizon, we've seen tons of rumors about the Fold 4, but the Flip 4 has remained pretty light in terms of those rumors and those reports. So what I did is I went online and I scoured the internet for every rumor that I could possibly find and substantiate. The rumors that were being sort of confirmed by multiple different sources and I condensed them down into a list here on Twitter and we're going to kind of talk through what we might know about the Flip 4 right now. So this is basically everything we know at current about Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 4. So the first bit of information concerns the thing that I think worries the most people about this device and it is the UTG. If you don't know what UTG stands for, it stands for ultra thin glass and it is the material that on the flips and the folds and on the majority of I'd say at this point of folding devices is actually doing the folding right so you've got your display panel but on top of that you have an ultra thin form of glass a lot of people think that this is still plastic or something weird no it actually is some sort of magical very very thin glass which is able to bend uh hopefully presumably hundreds of thousands of times before eventually cracking. But we've seen that that's not always the case, right? I personally still have a Fold 2, which is in a controller right now, and my wife has a Flip 3. Both of these things have been around for a while now, and like my Fold 2's been around for quite a, quite a while now, and we've had no problems, okay? So our UTG has held up fine. There's been no cracking, no breaking. However, a lot of people with Fold 3's and Fold 2's and all these things have potentially had cracks. Cracks right in that seam are the most common, right where that fold, that crease, takes place. Well, the so-called next-gen UTG, because this is something being made by, I think the company is called SHOT, I think it's S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. This company is constantly refining and working on this UTG and making it more and more durable, stronger and stronger. So apparently this is supposed to be a new form of this UTG that is supposed to be more durable. Hopefully that actually is the case. It's not, not really going to know until we actually get it in our hands. You know, you may have forgotten, but and I'm pretty sure this is the case. When we went from flip two and fold two to three, there wasn't really a change on the UTG, right? So what they did is they put a much, much, much better screen protector on top to make things a bit more durable, but the actual ultra thin glass was pretty much the same. So this is supposed to be an actual upgrade on the ultra thin glass. It is also rumored to be thinner and lighter, and this kind of plays in with the improved hinge as well. So the Fold 4 is rumored to have a brand new hinge design. Instead of having a double hinge, it is a single hinge, and that is allowing it to be thinner and lighter. I do not know, cannot find confirmation, can't find anybody that has this information on if that's the same thing happening on the Flip 4 or not, but apparently the hinge is improved in some way. So that might also help with the durability, okay? So not only can a better hinge take up less space and make the device thinner, potentially make the device more durable, which we kind of are talking about now as well, it can also reduce the appearance of that crease, okay? By maybe not forcing the glass to bend quite as strongly, kind of leaving it more of a, a teardrop shape. I don't think that they're going to the OnePlus design or to the motor roll design. I don't think they're going quite that far, but an improved hinge could help with all of these things. It all kind of plays together. The hinge is extremely important on these devices. How about a more powerful and more efficient SOC system on a chip. So we're going from, I believe, the Snapdragon 888 to not just the 8 Gen 1, but the 8 Gen 1 Plus. And apparently this is probably going to be something similar. We have, we've had Plus models in the recent past, the 865 Plus. Okay, we've had these sorts of things in the past. They're a little bit ramped up. Hopefully, with that additional power, this is something that could also be, you know, kind of pared down a little bit, reduce that overhead, reduce those clocks a little bit, and get better battery life because it's something that the Flip 3 kind of struggled with. A lot of people say the battery on the Flip 3 is garbage. I hear that all the time. Well, my wife is able to use her phone from, say, 6.37 in the morning until nighttime without, usually without needing to charge the thing. So it makes it through the day for her. But if you're someone that wants to have five, six, seven hours of screen time, you're going to be charging your Flip 3 definitely 
by the end of the day. So that more powerful SOC has to be more efficient as well because we can't just tank our battery life even further. And let's kind of skip ahead here because if you're hoping for a enlarged battery, you're going to get one, but only by 100 milliamp hours. So we're going from 3,300 to 3,400. So a, a very tiny increase in that battery. So hopefully though, you know, you take the, the 100 more milliamp hours, just not very much. It's about a third of what your watch probably has. And then you add in a hopefully more efficient SOC. Hopefully the battery can be improved a little bit as well. We also know that the cameras are supposed to be improved. I wish I had more to bring you on the camera front specs and so forth. We think on the Fold 4, we're going to get that 108 megapixel sensor. We're going to get a 10 megapixel 3X. We're going to get a 12 megapixel ultra wide. On the Flip 4, we really don't have anything. People have speculated. Are we going to get a third camera on the back? We just, we really just don't know at this point. It may be there, it may still be just the two, which have been a primary and I believe an ultra wide, if I'm remembering correctly. And the Flip 3's camera is okay. To be perfectly honest with you, I put it in the same realm as something like the Surface Duo 2, which everyone calls garbage, but no one called the Flip 3's camera garbage. They uh, weird, different ratings for different phones, even though I've seen them both, I've used them both. They're very comparable. They're not bad. Hopefully the Flip 4 is better. Wish we had more to share there, but we really don't. And then a big thing here, it's the cover display. So obviously on the flip devices, when you close the thing like a clamshell, you get a situation where there's no, uh, you can't see your, your screen, right? So they've put a cover display on it, which is currently 1.9 inches, and it's going to get slightly larger up to editor Shane here has to make a quick correction. In this tweet, I wrote slightly larger cover display up to two inches now up from 1.9 inches. However, in the time since recording this and so forth and being here editing it, I came across another report that this was sort of slightly misquoted, right? So it's not going from 1.9 inches to 2 inches. It's going to a size that starts with the number 2. So it could be anything from 2 inches to 2.99 repeating inches. So it's not necessarily going to be something we can specifically say, hey, this is a big increase or a small increase. It could be an increase of a pretty substantial amount. We just don't know yet. We do know that it is going to be getting at least a little bit bigger, though. All in all, it looks to me like the Flip 4 is going to be a gradual improvement right so the, and it's kind of been the story of the flip all along they've not really at any point jumped way ahead okay and i think that the folds have kind of been that way too with these new folding devices i feel like they're still working on getting the foundations set before they build their mansion on top I do think that the flip devices are already very good though. So these minor increases, if the price also does come down, could make it so that, hey, this flip four is just rock solid. And if that price, again, can we hit something, you know, even lower than the 999 price point that we've already seen? Can we get closer to 800, $700 even? That would be absolutely wild. And I think it would make this device be extremely popular and we do have some information about the current sales numbers that we've had so far it did this is now keep in mind this is just quarter one of 20 uh 2022 so we know that the s22 which shipped kind of late in that realm has sold 7.2 million units as a whole right so there's three different phones there 7.2 million total. The Flip 3 and the Fold 3 have sold about 2 million in that same amount of time. So these sales are not incredible, but you know when you compare it to the original Fold or the Fold 2, the Flip whatever, the Flip 2, these sales are increasing. So if, again, Samsung can bring that price down while simultaneously making that device even more rock solid, I think they're probably going to have a winner on their hands with the Fold 4. Guys, thanks for sticking around for the entire video. That certainly does help the algorithm out a ton. So again, I appreciate that greatly. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.